Okay, uh, my name is Corey Halverson. I'm from um, Akamai Technologies. I'm the Senior Director of our Media Products. Uh, for those of you maybe less familiar with Akamai, we're a content delivery network. Uh, we do the, I work in the media group in Street and Super Bowl, the World Cup, etc. When I go to my office this afternoon, one of the things, the questions that's going to be waiting for me is, Corey, what are you doing today to keep, the, keep video from breaking the internet? If you like the internet and you like video, you're going to want to pay attention to the next speaker. The, this is a real problem for us in the industry, and we can't solve it by the, by the traditional means. We need new thinking, we need a new way to keep video from breaking the internet. We like the internet, we like video. So I'm very happy this morning to be able to introduce uh, Pierre Louis from Streamroot. Please give him a warm welcome as he helps us understand how we're going to prevent the end of the end of video on the internet as we know it. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I'm really happy to be here today. And I want to share a story with you. I arrived in Boston from France three months ago, and I heard that the Red Sox are pretty popular around here. <laughs> so, believe me, I really tried to understand baseball. This is why I watched this video. Miller still waiting for his first pitch. Roberts is going. Besides throw. This always happens at the worst moments. <laughs> My team and I created Streamroot so this never happens again. Video traffic is literally exploding today. More people are watching more videos using more devices and they want to watch it in HD and even 4K quality. And the networks just can't handle it. Look what happened in the Akamai networks for the past few years. In 2012, their biggest streaming spikes was during the Super Bowl. They reached 1.4 terabits per second. And only two years later, during the last World Cup, they broke the record of 7 terabits per second, which is five times more in only two years. And it keeps growing. Their only solution is just spending more money in their infrastructure. And for broadcasters, the only way to satisfy this huge demand is just paying for more bandwidth. Average broadcasters spent last year each two million dollars only for bandwidth. But there is a new way, and this is Streamroot. Streamroot is a new peer-to-peer -peer video delivery technology. It offloads the bandwidth demand from the server by connecting the people who are watching the same stream at the same time so they can download the video directly from each other. Broadcasters which are using Streamroot first dramatically reduce their bandwidth cost. Then we help them to provide a much better streaming quality during traffic spikes. And finally, we make it economically and technically possible to stream HD and even 4K streaming. And Streamroot is already a reality. We deployed the technology with three pilot customers and look what we've been able to achieve with them. This is the original bandwidth traffic. And with Streamroot, we've been able to handle 70% of their traffic, which means 70% of savings on their bandwidth cost. We are solving a known problem in this industry, but we are doing it with a completely new approach. First, unlike any existing peer-to-peer -peer solution, we are invisible for end users. They don't have to install any software or any plugin. Secondly, we are the first solution which is compliant and compatible 
with any existing streaming solution broadcasters already use, from the streaming format to the video player and even the current delivery solution. To create this great technology, we assembled an amazing team of nine Frenchies. <laughs> engineers from the best engineering school in France. And we spent the last 18 months testing and validating our technology, but also building partnerships with industry leaders. We moved to Boston to be closer to the heart of the video streaming action. And we are ready to make sure that this buffering never happened to you again. Thank you.